West End shows are on song in the regions. Last year, Shrek the Musical made Leeds its lair for a month. King roared for seven weeks in Sunderland. While Wicked cast its spell over Birmingham for two months. In the first study of its kind, research by UK Theatre for BBC Inside Out has found that national tours of West End shows have caused ticket sales for family musicals outside London to close by almost 43% year on year, with more than 2.7 million people heading to the theatre. Producers for the first time really are starting to be really confident about having a musical say in the West End and simultaneously taking it out on tour. But funding for regional theatres is at an all-time low. So to survive, they are trying to reach out to new audiences. Scott Dakin is a lifelong Derby County fan, but the last time he set foot inside a theatre was to see a panto as a child. I, I usually put it down as um, probably posh people that go to theatre, in my eyes. Um, I'm far from posh, so... A mile and a half up the road, the team at Derby Theatre are hoping to change Scott's mind with two free tickets. I think Brust Off is quite an accessible piece of work. They might have seen the film, uh, or they might have heard of the title at least. Derby County won 3-0 at the weekend. Can the theatre give them as much joy? Uh, I could not believe um, the set, how, how he um, quickly change it and stuff like that. Um, amazing. I didn't expect that. It, it's felt like you, you're in with the actual the actors that are acting in it. It's amazing. 14 was the year of the big family musical, which took almost one pound in every four at the box office. Last year, national ticket prices rose by five percent, but in the East Midlands, the average price paid was twenty pounds sixty-seven pence. Billy Elliot goes on its first ever national tour next year went on sale today and already doing good business. So that's your ticket for Billy Elliot Wednesday the 7th of December 2016. At, the at a time when many venues are dealing with funding cuts, it could even help prevent the curtain falling on some of the country's most famous theatres. Colin Patterson, BBC News.